Hello and welcome back to Communion from our house to yours. I'd just like to start by reading some verses from 2 Kings verse, uh, chapter 4 verse 8 to 11 and it says Now it happened one day that Elisha went to Shunem where there was a notable woman and she persuaded him to eat some food. So it was as often as he passed by he would turn in there to eat some food. And she said to her husband, Look now, I know that he, this is a holy man of God who passes us by regularly. Please let us make a small upper room on the wall and let us put up a bed for him there and a table and a chair and a lampstand. So it will be, whenever he comes to us, he can turn in there. And it happened one day that he came there and he turned, it, turned in to the upper room and lay down there. That's a wonderful story. and. I know I keep saying that it's one of my favorites, but it actually is. I've preached many times on that passage, but I love that the beginning. We're going to speak on it a little bit just today, a thought today, and also from the same passage tomorrow. But I was reading this this morning, and the bit that really jumped out at me was at the very beginning where this lady, she built on, she talked to her husband, and she built on this room for Elisha. So there was a lot of what was happening to her wasn't about her. Now we know later on she had no children. We know that Elisha comes, prays for her, prophesies that she'll have a child. But that wasn't her motivation in setting this room aside for the man of God. And so what I wanted to bring to us today before we break bread together is, is when we think of breaking bread, Jesus did it not for himself, he did it for us. And a lot of what's happening with us at the moment in our lockdown, in our, our confinement at home, it can ver be very easily that our eyes get on me and we think about how badly off we are, how badly off I am. This lady had, had uh, we can read from the rest of the story that her biggest lack in life was that she must have cried for years at not having a child. We see that by her reaction later on. But her motivation here is to do something for somebody else. And I want to encourage us today as we break bread, bread together, that in our prayers that today, this is, what day is today? It's Thursday? Yeah. Thursday, they're all running together. This is Thursday. To actually focus our eyes away from ourselves and onto other people. So Jemima is going to read from 1 Corinthians to us our passage about breaking bread. For I have received from the Lord that which I also deliver to you, that the Lord Jesus, on the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given it thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same manner, he also took the cup after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. This do as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death till he comes. So Jesus did that and we're going to break the bread today and we're going to remember and just hold it up so you can see it. If you need to pause the video so you get ready then I'm sure most of you are ready but if you need to do that but let's break this together and we're going to eat and with you and remember that Jesus died for us. Let's eat together. The Bible says again that in the same manner after supper he took the cup and he, he thanked God for this cup and this is your strength. Every day that we take this we're, we're receiving strength from the Lord and we know that it's difficult for some of you if you're on your own it's difficult and if you get out into shops we've been into shops Kathy and I were in the in North Allerton today we've been told off twice. <laughs> the first shop we, we tried to get into both of us and it's only one from a family even though we lined up in different places we're going in independently they obviously remembered us as being married so no you can wait you're going to wait outside and then I went to Tesco and in Tesco I, I wanted to look at the yogurts and the yogurts were just down a, a row where the arrows pointed the other way well this young guy shouted at me sir you've got to walk down now to the whole way to the bottom right up the other one I thought oh okay so we've been told off twice and of course when you're told off your initial feeling is but actually today I want us to take our eyes off ourselves and realize when we drink this, this is all about Jesus. So let's drink together and thanking God for what he's done for us. Let's drink. I want to pray together and pray particularly for other people that God will bless them as well as blessing us. Lord, I pray for 
everybody who's with us today, everybody who's sharing in this communion service. We thank you, Lord, that you were the most unselfish person that ever walked this planet. Oh, we realize you are God. We know your divinity, but we also know that you were human when you came here as well. We'll never understand that. But I thank you, Lord, that at all times, your thoughts were on other people. And I just pray you'd help us to be like that. When we're confined and restricted, help us to take our eyes off how we feel and to think about those maybe who knock on our door, the postman, the delivery people who deliver our, our groceries, those who have to work, our healthcare workers, our nurses and doctors, those delivery drivers, those who have to work, those who are teaching in the schools. Father, for those who are struggling today, we pray that you be with them in a special way. And so, Lord, we thank you for each one today. And I pray for any feeling lonely or feeling just totally lost today. I pray you'd enter the home and that you would encourage them as we encourage each other today. I pray in Jesus' special name. Amen. God bless you. And we'll see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.